Despite using them so little, it seems like pilots like to talk a lot about brakes. Usually, it's how to avoid using them. Unlike a car, where brakes are used dozens of times on a typical drive, in airplanes, we use brakes for taxiing and sometimes for landing. A disc brake system consists of a rotor or fixed disc that makes up part of the wheel, a caliper that's usually activated hydraulically with brake fluid, and a pad that pushes against the rotor. When we step on the brake, the caliper pushes out pistons that press the pad tight to the rotor. During pre-flight, always check to make sure there's enough material on the pad to avoid metal-to-metal -metal contact. Look for any fluid on the ground under the caliper that would indicate a leak. And finally, do a light check to ensure that the brakes release and re-engage. The key to operating aircraft brakes is to ensure that you don't overdo it. They can hold the airplane tight during the run-up, when making tight turns, and during a short field takeoff. But for most landings, it is better to let the airplane slow down by itself. If you step on the brakes during the takeoff or landing, it could damage the airplane, cause a fire, or send you careening off the runway. None of which is fun, all of which is avoidable. Easy does it.